Whole features created using find feature can now be edited and their whole types can be changed in DFS 2013. To illustrate that, I have this part open and ready to program. The stock is already built and the setup is already made. All I need to do is go to find feature. I'm going to use the AFR method. That's the solid I want to recognize and obviously setup one. I could preview the features, but I'll go ahead and click OK and accept the features as is. I'll run a 3D simulation. You can see that the features were built successfully. Okay, so all that worked really well. Now one limitation that DFS has had in the past is that if you created whole features using find feature, you could not edit their feature type. So if the model would just had cylinders, DFS would see that and create a plain hole. If it was a counterboard, it would see the stepped geometry, but you couldn't change it to any other hole type from counterboard. So with 2013, I can go in and edit these features and change the hole types. I'll stop the simulation. Let's take a look at imported hole two. It's that hole pattern around that round cutout. And I'll edit this hole. So I'll right click, edit the feature. And you see a new section here at the bottom called dimensions. And what I can do is click on edit. And you see that I have all of the hole types in DFS available to me. And I can change this from a plain hole to anything else. So I'm going to change it to a tapped hole. And I can enter the dimensions myself or we also have a standard threads button. I can click on that and select my standard threads. This part does happen to use M6 by one threads, so that's good. I'll click OK. Let me adjust the depth here so that these are the same. And I'll click OK. And I'll click OK again to accept the new feature. So if I look at the op list now, under imported hole two, you can see it's going to spot drill drill and tap. So it was able to successfully change this from a plain hole to a tapped hole. 